Celebrities in the basement, the place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. Politics, drama, music, sports, arts. Favorite celebs climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers, next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat. Celebrities in the basement is the place. Actually, on Philadelphia Freedoms. Philadelphia Freedom Choir of Philadelphia. That's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Carolyn Sims Nesmith mm -hmm. is the artistic director, mm -hmm. and it's interesting because I always tease Carolyn now, mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. hates it. When I was in high school, mm -hmm. I had received an award from Freedom Choir of Philadelphia for community services. Okay. Mm -hmm. And years later. Um, well, in the theater, mm -hmm. I had met her and I began to sing with, um, mm -hmm. I actually met her because she needed actors, because they were doing a play called Believe, okay. which mm -hmm. traveled up and down mm -hmm. the coast, and it was a musical and she wanted actors. Mm -hmm. And um, we, you know, we, we formed a friendship that mm -hmm. has lasted the last 25 years, yes. but I always tease her, telling her that the first time I met her, I was a little kid in school and she was giving me a award. Right. <laughs> you know, and she, be, she refuses to she say refuses that your ages to, are so yeah, much different. Yes, absolutely. yes, yes. Not at all. <laughs> She's now I'm going to change. You're younger than me. Isn't exactly it? right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she I had an opportunity to briefly work with her because I did some behind the scenes um, at the Rainbow Company, mm -hmm. which she's the education director for the Rainbow Company. Right. And I did some uh, behind the scene interviews with her as well as the cast of the Rainbow Company. So mm -hmm. uh, that uh, should be airing soon, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. on the show. Uh, I'm going to change the tables a little bit and mm -hmm. ask you: Do you catch? Your own gators? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> you want to stay as far away from the gators as humanly possible. Although, I will say, I've grown accustomed to eating gator Yes, jam. yes. I, 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 want, I want the audience to realize where that question is from. I know he eats gator tail, and I know you know how to cook it. You were talking about how if you cook it, too long or too short yeah, or whatever. It's kind of yeah, chewy. Tough to get to. Yeah, you have to prepare it just right because. <laughs> Can you imagine eating gator tail? It's, it's, Tell them all about it's, it. It's 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 um. A delicacy. I was a, yeah, I was afraid. <laughs> the first time I tried it, I was really afraid okay. of seafoodish. Oh really? Mm. Kind of combination. Mm -hmm. So do you steam it? Do you bake it? Do you it, hot? It is, Primarily is boiled. Boiled, boiled. okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then it can be quick fried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, some people broil it. Okay, okay. But if it's cooked too long, it's like chewing rubber. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Wow. When was your first time tasting? Like, how did you come across the experience? You're a daredevil. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I was in a restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. It, it, shameless plug, Gators Dockside Pub okay, uh, in okay. Gainesville, mm -hmm. and um, a friend of mine was eating, and they mm -hmm. say, "Try it, you'll mm -hmm. love it." Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Right, Come on, right, try right. it. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but once I did, it was it was it was actually good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And speaking of being a daredevil, daredevil because uh, I know something about you that majority of your fans do not know. Oh. When you go to the amusement park and get in line for that roller coaster, you fight for that first seat? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> you <used> to. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that is I, I the like scariest the seat in, on the roller coaster, it's Kevin. It's the only seat to ride on the roller coaster. Wow. Because wow. you get up front and and it's full bore. You're coming down, you got the wind blowing, and you're looking face down and everything is coming right before you. Yes, it's it a, is. You are I'm, the daredevil. You like the, that, the that the impact. The secret's out. Yes, the I'm, secret's out. I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. Yes, yes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yes, hence that uh that football fanatic. Now did you play football? Because I know you live and breathe football. I played football up until, oh gosh, this is gonna be rough. 
I actually played semi-pro football up until I was 37 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So from the time I was 10, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the way up through high school, mm -hmm. uh, played in college for a minute, played mm -hmm. in the military, mm -hmm. um, came back out even when I was doing theater. Yes. I was still playing football. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, matter of fact, the year I retired, we won the Have championship. Have you had the opportunity okay. to meet Kevin Mack of the Cleveland Browns? Once. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Once. Mm -hmm. um, they were in Philadelphia for a game. Mm -hmm. And back then, in, mm -hmm. in the 80s, at Mitchell and Ness, they used to sell the um, football jerseys, jerseys yes. mm -hmm. with the, the halfback short set. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I used to walk around shamelessly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with my Kevin Mack jersey with yes. the matching shorts I'm around sure, town yes. and everybody thought I was him. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you but are I could Kevin shamelessly Mack. go into a restaurant and say, I have reservations for Kevin Mack. Yes. And I got carte blanche treatment. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you are from a fairly large family, aren't you? I'm from, I am the You're youngest the of, of seven. The baby of seven, yes. I'm the baby of six. See mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And I used to think I was from a large family. Mm -hmm. My wife is one of 14. No. Yes. Cassandra. Cassandra. Where, where does she fall in at, in that 14? Third from the bottom. What? Mm -hmm. God bless. God bless. Well, yeah, I, th I thought I was from a large family, too, but I think Cassandra has us beat. Both of us, oh together. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, together. When you do the math. Wow. That's amazing. So stay uh, tuned. We'll be right back with more of Kevin Mack on Celebrities in the Basement on Channel 7 WWJT. Would you or your artist like to be a guest on Celebrities in the Basement? Perhaps you're an upcoming artist or an award-winning celebrity that would like to promote your next project or event. Contact SAG, Star Entertainment Group, at 1-800-980-4082. Let's book your dates. Need some commercial advertisement? Contact SAG. We will write, create, direct, and film your 30-second commercial spots. For we know, that television is all about the advertisements. Tune in to Headbanger Video with host Tommy Brown, Friday nights at midnight, right here on Philly TV Channel 7, WWJT. Welcome back. I'm here with Kevin Mack. Now, coming back to Philadelphia, I know you're going to do a, a world premiere as well as a Philadelphia premiere sometime this year. You want to tell your fans about that? Well, I am presently in negotiations with Zahar McGill mm -hmm. at First World. Okay. Hey, Z. Z. Hey. Well, <laughs> good to be back. Yes. Well, you know the history of First World. Yes, so, yes. Um, it, it'll be a great opportunity to come home. Mm -hmm. um, she's working on a, a world premiere of a piece called The Castrated Black Woman. Yes. And mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be tagged to direct that. Mm -hmm. And it's going to open here in Philadelphia, and then it's going to go on the road and tour. Okay, so okay. That's, that's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. um, in July, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be teaching a master acting class mm -hmm. at, at Freedom Theater. Mm -hmm. um, we're in negotiations to set an exact date for that. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's going to be a really exciting homecoming. Yes, yes. Um, you know, there, there are so many fond memories, and everything that I am as an artist is what was put in me and them in those days yes. where on Saturday after Saturdays we used to be down there all day long. Yes. You could come mm -hmm. in for a class at mm -hmm. nine o'clock and mm -hmm. and we would actually take naps. Yes. Down there. We would lay on the mats right mm -hmm. there in the lobby in mm -hmm. the basement. And they would feed us and we would be there till about five or six mm -hmm. all day long. And and that's where it was put into me what it takes and the responsibility that we have as, as artists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and these are things that I've carried with me everywhere that I've gone. Um, they go into every project that I work on yes. and I share these things. Mm -hmm. And it would just be great to come home and, and share That's that amazing. with the new generation. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Kevin Mack on Celebrities in the Basement on Channel 7 WWJT.